Hey folks, this is Vince with Anti Gaming Addiction, and today we're going to quickly review Helldivers. This is a game that you can find on Steam for about 20 bucks. There is a sale going on that ends January 5th, 2022, probably as part of the whole winter solstice, whatever. <laughs> whatever holiday you want to call it, that, that Steam has a sale going on right now. So what is Helldivers? Well, this is a top-down, hardcore, cooperative twin-stick shooter where you have a Helldiver, a character, and you choose a mission. Now, what's cool about this game is that the missions that you do in this game contribute to the whole. There is a community effort going on here. And the whole situation is, it kind of sort of reminds me of the whole uh, Starship Troopers kind of thing, where you know, you've got the alien bugs. Well, there's three different aliens in this game, and you're going to be sort of pushing the war effort across all three of them. You're brought to this campaign map, and you choose one of the three areas to go into. Um, and then from there, there's like subsections of these areas. Anyway, once you pick an alien race, and once you pick a section to go into, then you can actually choose like the difficulty, which is really nice. And then um, you can have other people join you if you want. Um, in addition to that, um, before you leave, you'll have access to an armory. And you'll be gaining research points over time that allows you to unlock new weapons and stratagems and perks. Um, some of the weapons are hidden behind DLC, so you'll have to pay extra money to unlock those weapons. But uh, typically, you pick one primary weapon, and using research points, you can unlock anything that you want for them. Now, you can switch primary weapons as you want to, but... Um, Ideally, you want to pick one that you're going to use a lot, stick to it, because again, you're going to be using research points to um, unlock better things for it. Like the Liberator, for example, um, there is a recoil observer upgrade that you can take with research points, or a bayonet upgrade that you can take, or extended magazine, and so on. Stratagems are like side consumables that you can bring with you like there's a resupply consumable it calls down a pod that gives you ammo there's a turret that can be called down uh, you can even call down weapons too so even though you've got your primary weapon there you can call down other weapons uh, you know should you feel the need to um, again some of these things are hidden behind paywalls so uh, you know you have to worry about the DLC should you want to access everything perks um, you choose one perk to activate when you enter your game as well. Um, perks range from like laser aim modules, heavy armor, um, all-terrain boots. Again, some of these are hidden behind DLC, as is typical. So, long story short, you pick an alien race. You pick a section to go into. You customize your character how you like. You upgrade things with research points. And then you jump into it. Now, again, this is a top-down, twin-stick shooter kind of thing. Uh, it's pretty hardcore. Um, typically, you're given three or so objectives to complete, um, at least on the easier ones. I have really not done the harder ones. Um, all of my playtime on this, like the six hours plus, has all been single player, easy missions, just grinding out research points, and I'm having fun with it. But you, you've typically given three missions to do, and that might be like capture this area. So you have to go over to the area and stay on the point until it's captured. Enemies will come on occasion. And uh, sometimes they'll even alert, uh, you know, there are enemies that will uh, sound the alarm, so to speak, and call in others to, uh, you know, to murder you. That can be rough. Um, other objectives might be, you know, launch the missiles from the SAM site, in which case you have to go over to the uh, computer console and enter a series of uh, button presses, like a quick time event. So, for example... You walk over to the console, and then you interact with it, and it says up, down, left, right. So you have to hit W, down, A, or W, S, A, D, or whatever it is, to, yeah, the, the correct keystrokes in order to activate it properly. That's one of my biggest complaints with the game. Not only do you have to use quick time events to interact with certain things, but also to call down your consumables. Um... So if I want to put down a turret, for example, I have to hold in my, my radio button to signal that I want to call in something. And then I have to hit like eight button presses, like up, down, down, right, left, up, down. And then once I do that correctly, then I'll be able to equip it into my hand for me to left click and throw the, the grenade, which then calls the drop pod or whatever, for whatever I asked for. 
that's annoying. I don't like that quick time event minigame. Aside from that, uh, and aside from the fact that the game is pretty hardcore, even on the easier difficulty settings, I'm enjoying the whole experience of just unlocking things, leveling up, and assigning research points. You'll find, um, like, little research samples on the ground or whatever um, that you can pick up and you bring back with you. And if you accumulate enough of them, that fills up a meter and unlocks a new research point for you that you can then unlock, again, new weapons and new abilities and new upgrades. So, like, that's my primary joy of it right now is just playing on easy and unlocking stuff and, and trying out different weapons. And there's quite a bit. So if you're looking for like a cooperative top-down twin-stick shooter with uh, unlockable upgrades in a community war effort uh, where, you know, what you do contributes to the whole, you'll watch the map update in real time as, you know, people, you know, take on these missions and this bar fills up. So now this area has been taken out or controlled by this. Um, the enemies will fight back, and you have to defend these areas before they get taken over. Um, again, these are all computer-controlled AI uh, aliens. It's not like it's not a PvP scenario where, you know, it's a three, it's a one v one v one kind of situation. No, it, it's you versus three other alien races that are just programmed to attack areas on occasion. And as a community, you go in and, and try and take out all three of these alien races and take over the entire campaign map. Once that's done. Everything resets, and you have at it again. Uh, it's pretty pretty cool. So uh, check out Helldivers, especially now that it's on sale. Um, I do believe you can buy like the premium edition for 20 bucks, and that includes all the DLC. If you already own Helldivers, there's a like upgrade edition as well that you can purchase that has all the DLC but minus the base game. If you guys haven't already, subscribe to me on Twitch and YouTube. That way you can stay up to date with any new content I've been to publish. This is Vince. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.